Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I do a glowy skin makeup for textured skin. So, starting with a good base, I moisturize my skin with the newest Clinique Moisture Search 100 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. It feels so lightweight on the skin and gets absorbed super fast, leaving the skin feeling instantly plumped and hydrated. Next, I prep my skin with the Milani Cosmetics Rose Face Oil to brighten my skin and to give it a soft, dewy glow. One drop goes a long way and you can see how it gives my skin that instant shine. After the oil, I go in with the Rose Lotion Primer from the same range, which helps to soften the appearance of fine lines and pores. Then, I give my face a couple of spritzes of the Rose Hydrating Mist, just to lend a little more hydration before I put my makeup on. This can also be used throughout the day as a refreshing face mist. Okay, now it's time to sort out those dark eye circles. So I'm going in with the Pixi Plus C Vitamin Under Eye Brightener. It's got a peach tone to it, so it really helps to color correct my dark eye rings and makes me look overall just more awake and brighter eye. And so now that we're done with the prep, I'm going to start with my foundation. And I'm using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. It is a lightweight formula that offers pretty good coverage, I would say medium coverage without having to really pile on the foundation. I have oily, dehydrated skin and I think I get pretty good mileage out of this foundation with about maybe 6 hours before my skin starts to feel oily. And now that I'm done with the base, next up would be the brows. Here, I'm using the Sunny's Face Life Brow Micro Marker. I find it really easy to use and to create natural hair strokes with this pen. You just have to work fast and brush it all out with a spoolie for natural looking brows. Next, I'm going in with some Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer Matte just to give my face a little bit more definition and to give myself a healthy glow. Now, I'm just tapping in a little of the Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer onto my imperfections just to cover it up. And because I'm going for a really natural glowy skin look, I'm using a cream blush for a more natural flush. Here, I'm using the Clinique Chubby Stick in Robust Rhubarb, which is a really pretty pink with a tinge of coral. The great thing about the blush is that it is not too slippery and it gave a really natural glowy flush. So, I'm just layering the blush bit by bit until I'm happy with the amount of colour I've got on my cheeks. To set my makeup, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation, which can be used on its own as a one-step full coverage foundation. But since I've already got foundation on, I'm just using a large powder brush to give my face a light dusting to set my makeup. I love this powder because it gives such good coverage while also allowing your skin to breathe and still look like skin. And so now that I have kind of mattified my face with the powder, I'm adding some subtle highlights with the Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight. I'm just using it on the highest point of my cheekbones to give a really fresh natural look. So to give my eyes a little bit of dimension and to look less puffy, I'm going in with a brown eyeshadow over the entire eyelid. I'm using the Urban Decay Decades palette in this one, but you can really use any medium brown shade. To line my eyes, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Fly Pencil, which is super easy to use. And I pretty much use this every day because it is so low effort, it really tips the effort to effect ratio. And now to finish up my makeup, I find that I pretty much look quite pale if I don't have any colour in my lips. So I'm trying out the new limited edition Estee Lauder Essa Extra Pure Colour NV Lipstick. This is a special collaboration and as you can see, the packaging is super cute. Featuring illustrations from Essa Extra on the box as well as on the lipstick case itself. I love this shade, it is so pretty and so suitable for everyday wear. And to top it off, I'm applying a layer of the Too Faced Lip Injection. 
this is a lip plumper to give my lips a boost for a juicier pout. And that's it. We are done with this super easy everyday makeup look for glowy skin. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe for more makeup tutorials and reviews. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!